Within Folkestone, near the old high street, stands a Grade 2 listed building named Grace Hill Library. A building built in Queen Anne Renaissance survival style, which served the people of Folkestone for many years until December 2022, when Kent County Council closed the building, citing flood damage. Within six months, over 3,700 people signed petitions led by Save Our Library campaign alongside local trade union members demanding the repair and reopening of Grace Hill Library. On the 18th of September 1886, according to the Kentish Express, 1,800 Folkestone ratepayers petitioned the Folkestone Council to create a dedicated building for a public library co-located with a public museum. Grace Hill was built in 1887, the year of Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. Grace Hill opened in April 1888, providing a reading, reference and committee rooms, and it even included a separate ladies' room. In 1908, Carnegie donated £5,000 for an extension. The extension was designed and built by the people of Folkestone. The main gallery was named after Lady Sassoon, the late wife of the local MP, Sir Edward Sassoon, who kindly contributed the £700 to the local fundraising, which allowed Carnegie's donation to be taken forward. Since the 1960s, the library has been managed by Ken County Council and was significantly refurbished in the 70s. During the latter years, the opening hours were reduced. The museum was moved to a new location managed by the Town Council. When I first got onto KCC, I managed to get £340,000 spent on this building uh, where they refurbished and they were supposed to do some of the repairs on the roof. Within six months, eight months, the building was then closed. Uh, they weren't answering the questions as to whether it was going to be reopened. So listening to the local residents, I then asked a public question, only to be told that the building was going to be closed temporarily. We then find out that they don't have the money to repair the roof, and it's specifically the guttering that seems to be causing the water ingress. They moved some of the services to other buildings, but the main problem that we have now is that they have left that building open to the elements for the last year and a half. And we all know how much rain that we've had this year. It's getting worse and worse. The grade two listed building being left to rot. We need this building reopened as quickly as possible. It can be done. It just needs the will. If we're all being honest with each other here, we all know that there is not a huge pot of money that's going to come from the government or the district council or the county council or folks in town council or a combination of all the above that will fund that project in its entirety. But what we should, what we have to look at is bringing other local arts organisations into that project as well. What I was looking at before the election was called was using some central government funding from the community ownership fund to create a new body that could take over the building, that could restore it, that could bring arts organisations together, bring the library back and give it a new purpose and give it a new lease of life. 2021 October, the survey said it was in good condition, repairs weren't implemented, and that led to the closure by Kent County Council at the end of 2022. But what I would do is, if I was sitting in Kent County Council as a Conservative uh, 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 councillor's arm, I would respond to a community proposal that's been put forward by those working on that in this room. Let's use some of that space for a library, let's use some of that space for a community space, let's use some of it for as an art gallery, a multi-use community space for the people of Folkestone. Now, what is so hard about that proposal that Kent County Council, the Tory Kent County Council, has sat on their hands for several months not replying to that invitation? It's a very awkward building in terms of repurposing it if you were to want to sell it and it, it's not suitable for flats, so it would need to retain some sort of civic use uh, for the community. The proposal that um, was come up with by uh, Creative Folkestone in order to have a multi-purpose building was the most sensible proposal. After the general election, Kent County Council opened a public consultation and proposed to move services to the Falker building, Folkestone's old Debenhams. The Save Our Library campaign called the proposal misleading, misinformed and misconceived. The future of Grace Hill Library remains very much uncertain.